Hello, this is Christian. In this video, I want to talk about polymorphism in Python. Now, Python is a dynamic type language, which means polymorphism doesn't, you know, it's not really as nice as you would do it in like a, a C Sharp or Java or those type of languages. But indeed, you still have this polymorphism concept in Python. And so usually po polymorphism involves two, uh, two different styles or two different uh, areas in coding. But in Python, there's only one way to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and create a file here first. I'll call it um, uh, polymorphism.py. And I'm going to go ahead and close this one over here. Okay, so polymorphism is when you have the following. So you have two classes. You must have two classes in order for this to work. So I have a class A. And then let's say I have a function here called show. And I'm just going to print a message to say print a's show function. And then we have another one here. I'm going to copy this. And I just call it B. And then B is going to extend a class. So this is how you illustrate polymorphism. It must be between two classes. One is the subclass, B is the subclass, and A is the superclass or the base class. Okay, so here will be show B's function. All right, uh, so I'm going to go in here and then use this in the code. I'm just going to go and implement, I mean, create an object of B. So we just basically, which is b small b equals to big B, and we instantiate that. So I got my b. All right. So now, if I, I'm gonna run this, and I'll just do the demo on the console here. It's much better that way. And so go ahead and run it. All right. So now b should be there. B is a, indeed an object of this class here. Now because I have two functions, if you look at this, uh, a has a show function. And so does B. Okay, so when I print something like B dot show, what you see is I get B's copy, right? B's function runs, and I cannot run A's function. Okay, so what happens here is that the A, which is the parent class, has a function called show, and B overwrites it because it has the same name. Okay, so and because of this relationship here, which in which means B inherits A, so that means whatever A has, B also has it plus its own. If A has a function uh, called show and B has the same one, then this B's uh, function is shadowing A's function. So therefore, it's causing this to be what's called overriding the A's function. So this is what's called polymorphism because here we have two functions, exactly the same name, but they do two different things. Okay. Um, so that's the basic term of definition of a polymorphism in this scenario. When two classes are in this type of relationship between a child and a parent, the child class can override a parent's function or method, and that's polymorphism. So again, it's not really nice. It's not as nice as you would see it in Java because in Java, you have, in addition to overriding a method in the parent class, you can also overloading your own function in the same class. That is also polymorphism, and that is also very powerful. But in Python, this is the only way we can show. Okay, so if, for example, if I happen to say show what the S to here, if I save that and rerun it again, now if I type B dot show again, you see that now it should load the parent's function, which is A's function, right? Because what it do is that it will look inside B's class and look for a function called show. It's not here then it's going to go into the parents class and see if it's there. If it's there, then we use it. And and so on. Okay? And the 
this keeps going. So if I have a class up here as well, let me copy this and I'll put one more up here. Let's just say this is D or C and A happens to be a child of C. So here we put C's shows here. Okay, so if I save this, it's still going to be the same down here when I print a.show, I mean b.show. It will print a's show because b didn't have it. It will go to the next class, which is the a's class, and there it is. Okay, so if I change a's to say show a instead, you know, let me let me change this to show b, and we'll just keep show as, as like that. Save that, run it again. So now if I go and type again b.show, you should see, see now that it runs C's show function. Okay, so it goes up the chain this way. All right. And as you can see here, so, you know, B inherits A, A inherits C, and so on. So that B has access to everything in A plus everything in C as well because they're all related. Okay, so by doing this way, if you don't want to do this way because A, inherit C. So in Python, you can actually do this. If A doesn't inherit C, you can do something like that and put A and B, C here. So B now inherits both A and C. And if I run this now, you see that it should still work just like before. Okay, because it looks for, first it looks for its, its own class functions, see if it has it, show it's not there. It looks for A's class, it's not there. It looks for C's class. Oh, there it is. Okay, so when you inherit two classes like this, the order is important. If you put, um, what I mean is that, well, let's leave it as before. So let's say that I have back to show again. Okay, so both A and C has shows and uh, B doesn't have it. So I save that run it again and now if I do again b.show you will see that it runs a's show function and not c's show function so the order is important here if I swap the two then I get the other way around it's gonna run c's first before it runs a and so c's shows so there it is and so you can you can you know uh, and extend as many classes as you want. It's that order. Um, this is not legal, and most other languages like C Sharp or Java, you cannot do this. You cannot uh, extend or inherit more than one concrete class. This is called a concrete class, a class that can create object out of. It's called a concrete class. So in Python, virtually all classes are concrete classes. Um, so, so therefore, you cannot do this in, in Java. You can only extend one class, and then you can uh, implement or uh, many interfaces. That's fine because interfaces in, in in Java doesn't allow you to create objects. So, that is quite different. All right. So, what I showed you here is similar to what I just showed you. If I were to put C first, since C goes first, C will inherit A. This is exactly same as doing that. Okay, so we go to C first, and then C inherits A, and so on. All right. So that's polymorphism. We have the same function, but um, you only the only ones that you can access to will call it, and will have different form. When we say form, it's the implementation. Okay, and this is the same, right? So in many forms, that's polymorphism.